Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's YouTube video, I'm going to be doing an in-depth base makeup routine. Now, I already did my eyes and half did my eyebrows off camera to save a little bit of time. And, I mean, it's mostly about the base today anyway. If you want an eyeshadow routine, let me know. Or, you know, if you want to see a different eyeshadow look, let me know and I can totally do that for you guys. But without further ado, let's get on into today's YouTube video. Don't forget to um, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss an upload. And give this video a big thumbs up. Okay, so first step, I always go in with a setting spray. So today I'm going to use this one. Just before I do um, any primer or anything like that, I always go in with a setting spray because my face is naturally oily. And I've seen a lot of makeup artists spray this and then go in with their primer it helps stop like a barrier between the oils and your face makeup i don't really know the science behind it but i see makeup artists do it so I do this okay as much as you really want sometimes i go ham with it sometimes i do a little bit also i thought i should address the elephant in the room yes if you guys don't follow me over on TikTok, which is just Lisey Jade, you will not know that um, a couple of weeks ago, I dyed my hair red. It's more red in parts. Um, yeah. I dyed it red um, and then didn't film any YouTube videos. So this is my first one back since I dyed my hair red. So you're not going crazy. I dyed my hair if you haven't seen me before. Okay, now that the setting spray is all dry, um, I go in with the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer. And I just do it on really mainly on my nose and on my chin. Because um, that's where I get the most pores. Um, this is literally all I do. I take any random little makeup brush. Hopefully the end is clean because of my nails. Um, this is also very disgusting. Doing it like this, I know, I'm aware. But I do it and I've had, it doesn't break me out. You can also use your finger. This is just what works for me. And yes, this probably does look like a lot of primer. I don't really care. And I blend it in. And I like to like really press it in instead of like rubbing it and leaving it. I like to really like smush it in. Really make some really nice faces while doing this. Just really press it in to the skin and get it to all absorb um i especially like to do this in the nose area around my nose uh, like this okay give that a couple of seconds to dry and then i go in with my second primer which is the milk hydro grip i absolutely love 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 this stuff clearly i do one two pumps like that so it looks like this, rub it on my hands, focus it under my eyes, on my cheeks, above my lip. Anywhere basically that I didn't put that matte putty primer, focus it in there and really rub it in. Some people say to like glide it on so that you've still got a little bit of like shine. I don't know if you guys can see that. And makes it more tacky and you get the most out of your primer but i find it doesn't like look or like it doesn't feel as nice um but you can do it however you want like that okay now this step is completely unnecessary if you don't want to do it but i do this most of the time now anyways since i started like realizing what people were using i use the nars pot concealer in the shade medium to ginger to spot conceal and I because this is a detailed tutorial I just take this on a really flat brush that I got from I think it was Sheen and I just blend out all around the spot just to really work the product in um I've also seen you can use this on um you can take this concealer on like a small um, fluffy-ish brush and just really work it into the skin. That was probably way too much, but again, 
there you can see what I'm doing. It's just is it is a beautiful product. And even for the ones that you've got extra a little bit of redness, you can just clear those up. It's not a complete shade match for me. Um, but that's a me problem. That's not a like somebody else problem. And I, and I let that sit and I let that soak in while I either do my brows or do my eyeshadow, for example. Okay, so now that's been sitting for a while, I do my foundation base two different ways. So this is how I'm going to do it today. Um, I'm going to use the Emco Beauty Flawless Glow, but I use it in two shades to kind of mix up my own shade. Um, because I suck at shade matching, and I will say that till the day I die, basically. I suck at shade matching. You think it's a shade match, it's really not. Um, the only reason it kind of looks good in my makeup is because I have beauty lights. I have one, two, three, four, five on each side. So I have ten beauty little tiny, well not tiny, but tiny globes blasting light on me right now. Okay, which is why my makeup sometimes also looks weird. That was a lot. Um, but anyways, I'm going to use... These two shades, this one is 5 Natural Medium, and then I've got oh, 3 Light. And again, so this is, I bought this first and it was way too light for me, it just makes me look like greasy and yuck. And then I mixed this one and they work. So this is what I do. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. But I do like this, one there, one here one like this and again look this is not going to be everybody's cup of tea but this is what i like and it's my life so get over yourself anyways a little bit here i do tend to use a little less of the lighter shade um because i just feel like it looks a lot better but anyways Cool, 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 cool. And then I take, I blend, and then I blend it out with this foundation brush that I got from Kmart that was literally $10. It looks like this. Okay. And I just press. I don't rub. I don't swipe. Um, and I also tend to stay away from the under eye area so that it's not so like cakey with my like my concealer isn't so cakey and we blend this out you can always add more but it is so much harder to take it away so I start with a little bit and add a little bit more if I need to um and it all just depends really it's so beautiful I love this combination and yeah um, yeah, the forehead is pretty easy, um, I always like to say I have a big forehead, but I feel like I don't, it's not that big, it just, I don't know, it just looks, <sighs> the longer I look at my face, I'm like, my face is so disproportionate to the rest of my body, in terms of, before everyone comes at me, like, I have tiny eyes and, like, a big nose. And my brows are just about non-existent. My forehead's tiny, but, like, and my chin's tiny. But, like, my cheeks are so, like, big. I don't know. And, like, my eyes. And my eyes. My ears. They're tiny, but my head is huge. And I'm not talking about, like, fatness. I'm talking about, like, size. Like, whatever. Anyways. Just random things that I like to talk about. That is that... That is super, super gorgeous. Now, normally I put like a skin tint over it or like a little bit of foundation because I want a little bit of extra coverage, but I must be having like a really good skin day. Okay, so blush and bronzer. I use creams and powders. You can either use cream, just creams or just powders. doesn't matter, but today we're going to use this. I'm going to use, these are both the Australis brand. I think they were like 10 bucks each from Priceline. I'm going to use the bronzer in the shade Femi Fatal. Okay, you can't actually read that, but it says Femi Fatal and it's the Dewy Daring Bronzer. I think that's how you say it. Um, 
Okay, you take this on, I'm taking this on an angled brush. Normally I take this on a foundation brush or a little smaller, but I'm going to take this on a just a angled brush like this. And I like to place it just above the cheekbone. So when I go like this, it's just above it, if not the same, like right where it is. And you just blend it out. That's really pretty. Um, I'm loving this. Also, you can add more, um, like I said, for foundation and stuff like that. You can add more, but it's hard, so much more harder to to take away. So do be careful when you're using that amount. I like to really just really oh, okay. And if you make a mistake, I do my concealer after I do my cream bronzer and my cream blush. Because if you make a mistake, like I just have here, you can always fix it up with a little bit of concealer and some powder. You don't have to wipe it all away. So just keep on blending. Also, if, you know, I mean, normally I do foundation, but I haven't today. But you can just take your foundation brush and you can just buff it away as well if the brush or beauty blender you are using doesn't do the trick for your cream bronzer also i forgot to mention yes you can use a beauty blender or a brush but i choose brushes i love brushes they are so much easier to clean than beauty blenders which is also another reason why i love brushes and not beauty blenders okay for blush, we're going to use the Astralis brand. This is the Dewey, Dewey Plus Daring, Daring Blush. And this is in the shade First Love. I know it's backwards and you guys can't see it, but just imagine it says First Love. Anyways, I'm going to take the blush on just this really tiny, fluffy blending brush. And like sometimes I, I swipe it. But today I'm just going to take a little bit because I don't want, oh jeez, I don't want too much. And we're just going to really blend that really right close to the bronzer. I mean, this is really coming together with the eye look and everything. Okay guys, concealer time. I use, why my eyes look so weird? I don't like my eyeshadow. Anyways, not the point. Not the point. I'm going to use, I use a whole bunch of different concealers on every, like, on an everyday basis. Like, I have my favourites, but why do I never use them? I don't know. But I'm going to use, I'm going to do a throwback. I'm going to use the Emco Beauty Instant Conceal Concealer Camouflage and Contour. This is in the shade Medium. I love this. This one is one of my favourites. I'm going to do, like, a little bit here. This is mainly where I place it anyway. I'm going to do a lot here because why I watched a TikTok that was so real the other day. It was like, why do people do a little dot and expect to have full coverage moment? Like you're not going to get a full coverage moment out of that much. So this is the placement for the concealer. Okay, um, and to blend it out under my eyes, I use this fluffy brush that's a concealer brush from I don't even know where, but it's just this. But then the concealer on my forehead and my cheeks, I just use the same fluffy brush that I used to blend out my, um, my base. So just dab, dab, dab. I like to blend it into the nose. And then just dab it like this. And again, as I always say, you can add more. But yeah, it's so much harder to take away. How many times have I said that in this video? Beautiful. I've still got a little bit of discoloration, so I'll probably go in with a little bit more concealer. I also could have probably left it here. Left the concealer to... Um, give me a little bit more coverage. I could have left it for a second. But, oh well. It is what it is, you know? Oh, beautiful. I love this concealer. This is one of my all-time fave, fave, fave concealers. Not even just by MK Beauty, but, like, in general. Um, 
so yeah and then just to chisel out the bronzer a little bit and you can do this with powder as well like a loose powder but I like to take it that step further and do it a little bit with the concealer because why not okay guys so the next step um I'm not gonna lie if this was in real time I bet I've been letting all my creams like sit here for a hot second so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend out my under eyes just so that if, like I can blend out any creasing and then I'm also going to take the big fluffy brush and just blend out any, uh, any place like this, a little bit of the bronzer and then take the blusher brush and just see blend out any of that. Alright, now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Light. And we're just going to take this on a powder puff. Yes, this is dirty, but I've got so many, I could probably just throw this out. Anyways, I'm going to take that much, dab it on my hand, which has got blush on it, and really press that in to the under eye. And really just press that in there. Nice and good. Um, I don't really press this hard or, you know, anywhere else. But I really want it to set my under eyes because I love this stuff. Like, look how incredible that is. Alright, now I'm going to take some more. Dab it on my hand. And I really press it into my nose as well. My nose gets super, super oily. So I like to really just cake my nose up. If you don't like the cakey look, obviously you use less powder. Um, setting spray also helps with that. Um, it'll make it look less cakey. And then I take some more powder, which this looks like a lot. But anyways, I go straight over the blush straight over the bronzer and just set the rest of my entire face that didn't also guys i just wipe away the um powder with a fluffy brush like this and it's super easy just to it comes straight off um and also if you think you've lost a little bit of color from the blush or your bronzer just wait because powder will your powder blush or bronzer will fix that right up for you now it's time to bring all the color that i just took away back to my face so for blush i love this um tickled pink eye and cheek palette from sports girl okay love her for me, it is the perfect pink. Don't even ask me why. I could not tell you. I'm going to take it on an angled fluffy brush. Pigment. And just... That is enough. I dab it in once. And it's enough for both cheeks. Because I don't like a super, super pink cheek. I'm more of like a bronzed goddess. Love me some bronzed. But blush i'm trying to get used to it okay then for bronzer i use the w7 the bronzer oh because i love 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 this stuff and again don't know where any of my brushes are cool i take the dupe no what's it called the replica no the exact same fluffy angled brush but i swear they are not the same Okay, no cuts, no nothing. They're not the same. You can clearly see that they're... Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm so weird. Dab, dab, dab. Love me some bronzer. I get up nice, up close and personal with the blush. And just really melt it into the skin. Love that for me. 
I don't actually take it too far down either. I like to have it mostly in my hairline and really close up to the blush. And then in my forehead, just really close to, again, really close to the hairline. You can fix this up with a little bit more of loose powder if it's like too further down. Okay, so one thing that is like mainly missing, highlighter, Rare Beauty Highlighter. This is in the shade Flaunt and it is so well loved, so well used. And I love this. Okay, just a little like, oh, it's like just a little like that and went overboard. Whoa. Um, I also do not put any on my nose as I just tried to, but I don't put any on my nose because it makes my nose get like super extra oily and my nose does not need any sort of help with that. I set my face with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I love this stuff as well. Okay guys, and this is my completed flawless makeup look. My flawless um, base makeup look. Now, I can do it a different way as well. Um, I can do it with a foundation. Um, honestly, I feel like I look great. Um, the only thing that I don't love is not makeup related. It's the fact that my hair looks so dark on camera, but it's so much lighter in person. But that's not the point. It's neither here nor there. Um, this is about the makeup, and I feel like I look stunning. Um, if you guys think that there's something I could change about it, please definitely let me know. Um, because I would love your opinions, tips, tricks, thoughts on my makeup and all that good stuff. Um, but if you guys enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you guys never miss an upload. Hit the thumbs up. Anyways, bye guys. Love ya. Leave ya. And see you in the next YouTube video. Bye guys.